Hi, boys and girls, I'm back again. Now remember, I told you I'm going to read another story, and this is the important one. This is the one that Christmas is really all about. Jingle Bells, that's just, a, you know, that's a fun story. But this is the one that Christmas is really about. The Nativity, about Jesus. Jesus. Okay, well, if you're going to stay here, you need to get up here. Okay. Let me get these pages turned. They, I guess they're kind of thick. The Nativity. Long ago, in a town called Nazareth, there lived a carpenter named Joseph and his wife, Mary. Joseph worked all day long in his workshop while Mary looked after their little house. Okay, Joey, you have to leave the pages alone. Leave them alone. Right. Let's go to the next page. One day, a beautiful bright light filled Mary and Joseph's home. It was the angel Gabriel who had come to tell Mary she was going to have a special baby. Angel Gabriel and Mary. I'm sorry, let me say that again. Angel Gabriel told Mary that the baby would be the son of God and that Mary must name him Jesus. And Jesus is a baby. Yeah. Uh, God. Mm, God is a little hard holding this one on my lap. Mary and Joseph were overjoyed and looked forward to the birth of their baby. Months later, they made the long journey to the town of Bethlehem. They set off over the hills of Galilee with Mary riding on the back of a donkey. Mm -hmm. are so dry, it's hard turning these pages. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they found that there was no room left to stay in. A kind innkeeper saw how tired Mary was, and he offered them his stable oh, for the night. The stable was warm and dry and full of friendly animals. Joseph made a bed of straw for Mary and they set her down to sleep. Did you see your daddy? Okay. It was in that stable that Jesus was born Mary and Joseph, yes, baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. As the animals came to worship Jesus, a bright star settled over the stable. High on the hills outside Bethlehem, three shepherds were watching their flock. Suddenly, an angel appeared in the sky. Mm. Do not be afraid, the angel said. The Son of God has been born. Mm. Let me show you. I did not take, show you this picture. And now see. this picture. Joey, I need you to move your head back so the other children can see the pictures, okay? Thank you. Far away in the east, Three wise men saw the bright star shining in the sky. They had read in the ancient scrolls that when a new star appeared, it meant there was a great new king. The wise men journeyed all through the night following the star across the desert. It led them to the stable in Bethlehem where Jesus had been born.
The wise men gave Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, while the shepherds promised to spread the word of Jesus' birth far and wide. They all worshiped, for the Son of God was born. And who knows why Jesus was born? He was born so he would grow up and he would become our Savior, wouldn't he? He was going to grow up to be our Savior. It was prophesied back in the book of Isaiah that he would be born. The book of Isaiah in the Bible. It was. Okay, boys and girls, when you celebrate Christmas this year, remember to stop and take a moment and say, Happy Birthday, Jesus. All right? Bye. All right, so Bye. we are finished with that, and I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful no. Christmas. No. And make sure you say thank you for your Christmas gifts, okay? Different people are going to be giving you Christmas gifts. And you make sure you tell them, uh, thank you. Y'all have a wonderful Christmas.